Hey everybody, Erica Sirwin here. It's time for Facebook Live this week. I am coming to you on Thursday instead of Friday this week, so hopefully you will find time to join me. If not, you can always watch in the replay. Um, I always say that's how I watch most of my lives. Not my lives, but the lives that I follow. That's how I watch them is I save them and watch them later. All right, I see some people join, jumping on. Hello, everybody. I'm gonna make sure I'm in the right place because one never knows. Hi, Connie. Thanks for joining me today. All right, let's see. All right, good. I'm in the right place. Let me turn this around so I can see your comments. Today, I've got some adorable projects for you. Um, I'm. We're not going to say these are back to school projects, although they're kind of back to school projects. <laughs> um, I like to do um, back to school projects every year for my kids going back to school, and um, we still have four weeks. No, not four weeks. One, we have three weeks. Yes, three weeks until school starts. Um, but we're going to be out of town. Let's see. I'm trying to share this over to my business page. Um, we're going to be out of town all next week. Um, we're taking the kids to the beach. So I thought, you know what, if you guys need back to school ideas, then I better do them this week. Um, but with that being said, they're not just back to school projects. You'll see they're very, um, I don't know, you can use them for lots of different occasions. Lots of different things. Um, they're not just like back to school. So anyways, I chose the check you out stamp set which is somewhere here um, I just put my iPad on top of it this one right here have you guys seen this super super cute um, and the sentiments are great so we'll get started on that in a little while hi from Iowa County Fair week oh Karen I love County Fair how fun um, we are in the dog days of summer here in South Texas. It's hot. This is the hottest time of the year. Um, my kids play outside all year except for the end of July, all of August, and the beginning of September because it is miserable. So those of you up north who like the hot weather, I get it. But down here, we like the cold weather because <laughs> we don't get it very often. So it's the dog days, of, dog days of summer. Camps are over. My kids have no more camps. No more classes um, and that's why we decided to take the kids on vacation the first week of August because it kind of becomes really long those weeks before school starts um, but since Ted and I just got back from Greece it hasn't even been three weeks I don't think we're kind of like oh we don't really want to go anywhere but we're going we're not excited about getting out of town out of the house you know again but we're excited about spending some time with our kids so that's what we're gonna be next week there will be no Facebook live next week um, but I will be back the following week the 16th all right so um, let's do prizes first I have a ton of stuff to show you um, lots of things to tell you about to announce um, and uh, I um, want to flip the camera around but let me just show you last two weeks ago when we did Facebook live last I um, said I would pick two people who shared the, the video on Facebook to win the garden goodness stamp set and a bolt of lace trim and the winners are Cindy Tudor and Lisa Cunningham Lisa is on my team in my on my downline so ladies I know I have Lisa's um, mailing address Cindy I pretty sure I have yours too. Um, just in case anything has changed, Cindy, uh, message me in case something has changed. If not, I will get these out tomorrow before I go out of town. Congratulations, ladies. Thanks so much for sharing my video. I do greatly appreciate that. Now this week, I've only got one prize and it's a big one. The Silhouette Scenes Stamps and Coordinating Sweet Silhouettes Dies. I'm actually using this stamp set for August's Stamp Club to Go card. Um, it's very cute. Uh, we'll, we'll probably do this on a Facebook Live um, in the weeks to come. It's really a fun, interesting stamp set. So I'm going to give this away, the whole bundle, to one person who shares the video on Facebook um, sometime before the 16th, okay? So if you'd like to win, just share on Facebook. Okay, I think the best way for me to show you everything is to turn the camera around, um, including the brand new All Star Tutorial Bundle for August. This is 
Um, something that I team up with um, 11 different demonstrators from around the world and we all come up with a tutorial exclusive to this PDF every month we combine them together and there's 12 we all give them away to customers who spend over $50 with us um, stamping up orders either in person or online but then there we also sell them to other people who maybe already have a demonstrator or who are demonstrators but they want these tutorials so um, August begins a new round. We do them for six months. And so August is the first of the next six round month. And you can actually subscribe to it the first month. Um, and when you subscribe, you get the sixth month for free. And you can either subscribe and pay monthly. You pay for the first, you pay $15 the first five months and then the sixth month is free. Or you can pay for all six months up front, and you're really just paying for five months. Does that make sense? I have a whole post up on my blog. There's a link on today's post. You can go over there and read it if I am not making much sense. Um, it's a great deal. The tutorials are amazing. The designers are amazing. This month is 73 pages worth of tutorials. So that's a lot. Um, and it just so happens that this month my project also uses the check you out stamp set. And here it is, it's a pencil box, and I'm just gonna show it to you briefly because I'm not supposed to show you. It's supposed to be a surprise, but it's super cute. So June, no, why am I saying June? August 2019, All Star Tutorial Bundle is right here. All right, okay. Now, I said I was gonna flip the camera around. Let me do that. And you guys hold on. Hello, hello, everybody. I see you saying hello. And I'm trying not to focus too much. Oh, goodness. Oh, my microphone just popped off. Can you guys still hear me? I'm trying not to focus too much on comments because then I get super distracted and the, then the recording isn't great. Okay, you guys hold tight. I'm going to readjust the microphone. Oh, my gosh. You guys could have seen what just happened microphone went flying all kinds of craziness okay so testing test test <laughs> can you guys hear still hear me all right so let's look and see what I've got um, okay so here's a tutorial bundle I was telling you about 12 months um, oh good Laura you already got your tutorial good 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 I'm glad you love it it really is an awesome deal why am I just seeing you're not seeing anything hello I have to turn the camera Ah, oh, what excuse do I have today? My brain is hot. I was like, why aren't you seeing anything? Good thing, did you guys see up my nose? That would have been really pretty. Um, so here's this this month's All-Star Tutorial Bundle. I'm not gonna spend any more time on it. Just know that the subscription is only available in August if you want the subscription. Tomorrow we're doing a blog hop and um, we will all post, all the, the all-star tutorial designers will post on their blog a second project using the stamp set they used in the PDF. So we won't show you the projects in the PDF because that's like a surprise, but we have a second project and look, here's my second project, another check you out. So I have done five super cute check you out projects this week. So make sure you hop back to my blog tomorrow. I think it goes live like at 3 a.m. Okay, so lots of lots of things to tell you. I'm gonna run through, okay, ready? Here is the holiday catalog. It's so pretty, it's so good, you guys. Um, let me just show you my, my list last night I was making. August 1st means that demonstrators can order from the catalog, it's a pre-order. Look at my list, yikes. Yeah, so I made a huge list, and so demonstrators got to order starting today. Um, it will go live to customers September 4th, okay? I have ordered a ton of these, and I will be mailing them to anybody who has ordered with me in the last, like, nine months. Um, but if you have been thinking about the starter kit, if you buy the starter kit in August, yeah, my list is huge, you're right, Kathy, very big. And I didn't end up getting everything on there, but close. And I forgot to use my bonus days coupons, but we won't talk, we'll, we won't talk about that because it's very upsetting, but I forgot to use them. Anyways, um, starter kit. If you buy the starter kit in August, you can shop from here. You can add things from the holiday catalog to your starter kit. Um, so you might've seen me post this just a little while ago. 
Um, the starter kit, and I thought I had another little flyer here. The starter kit is always $125 in product for $99, right? Well, during August and July, it's now 155 products of your choice for $99. You get anything you want. Seriously, guys, anything. They don't make you pick certain products. It's any products you want. So you could start your Christmas shopping early, your Halloween shopping, whatever you want to do from the holiday catalog. So how you pick out $155 in product, your cost is $99. There's free shipping, okay? So you don't even have to pay shipping on that. If you were to order 155 products as a customer, you'd be paying $15 in shipping. So that's quite a quite a savings just in shipping. So then they're gonna send you a $10 coupon to use in September also. Kind of like a, hey, thanks for buying a starter kit. Here's another $10 to spend on top of your 20% discount off everything. I mean, it's a, it's really a no brainer. If you love Stampin' Up, if you are a big spender of your own, you know, you, you buy a lot of Stampin' Up products, it really is um, beneficial to buy the starter kit because then you just kind of become like a preferred customer. You don't have to do Facebook Lives, you don't have to do workshops, you don't have to do parties, you don't have to do classes. You can be your own customer ordering from yourself. Um, majority of people on my team in fact that's that's what they do they are we call them hobby demonstrators where they just join to support their hobby and that's okay so if you're interested in starting your holiday catalog shopping or you have a ton of things on your wish list from the annual catalog the starter kit in august is the best deal 99 dollars you get 155 dollars in product of your choice free shipping ten dollars um, to spend in September and 20% off all your orders. Okay, huge, huge um, starter kit special this month. So I encourage you to take advantage of it. Um, and if you have questions, feel free to message me. I, I probably have heard the questions that you want to ask. Um, I've heard them all. Don't worry, don't be embarrassed to ask me questions. There's a link on today's PDF over at pinkbuckaroo.com. When you scroll down to the last picture, you'll see a link to this PDF for our projects. Right here at the bottom, there's a link that you can click on that's gonna take you over to my starter kit page. There's also a tab at the top of my blog, you guys. Very easy to find, okay? Okay, we'll move that over. Bonus days has begun. If you earned $5 coupons in July, um, you can spend them in August. Like I was just saying, I have a bunch of them and I forgot to use them this morning on my catalog pre-order. <sighs> Don't worry, I'll use them eventually. But they have to be spent in August. Um, you should have received an email from Stampin' Up with a code and you just copy and paste and you can stack them. So maybe you have five of them. You can use them all on one order. There's no minimum, there's no maximum amount of coupons you can use. Um, just don't forget to use them, okay? I always um, use the analogy of gym bucks. If you're a mom of probably particularly little girls in the last 10 years, you know what gym bucks are. Um, you don't wanna forget to use them to get money off of your order, okay? So if you are missing that email also, I believe, we can contact Stampin' Up and get that code too. I think, don't quote me on that. I don't know that, 100% sure. Dig around in your, your inbox, your spam, all of that, look for those codes, okay? Okay, moving on. Sales tax holiday, here's that chart I showed you before. This weekend we've got a lot of states and I listed them all on today's PDF right here. August 2nd through 6th is Florida. August 2nd through 4th, Missouri, New Mexico, Ohio, South Carolina, and Virginia. All of you have some things at Stampin' Up! that are tax-free on those days. So if you wanna know, it's things like scissors, grid paper, glue, uh, watercolor pencils, journaling pens, blender pens, markers, all of those things are tax-free for you. And it's just certain states, guys. It has nothing to do with Stampin' Up!, it has to do with your state whatever your government, your state government has decided. But here's the list on today's PDF. This link right here will take you to this and I will link it in the video when I'm done, okay? So um, take advantage of the sales tax holiday. That's a big savings too, okay? Sales tax holiday, bonus coupons, I mean, goodness. Here's another thing that's going on if you are a Paper Pumpkin subscriber 
They have added an add-on kit this month for the August kit. So the August kits will ship like mid-month, like, I don't know, like the 12th, 13th, something like that. And they are 3D projects this month. If you want to add on a card kit that you can use the stamps with, you can do that on a regular customer order. It's not going to be a paper pumpkin order. They're not going to add it to your paper pumpkin kit. It's something you'd have to order like over at the Stampin' Up! customer page, you know, like an order. Here it is. It's called the Gift of Fall Add-on Bundle. It includes 24 card bases of two different designs with coordinating envelopes. Available August 1st. Notice this, while supplies last. So if you are a lover of Paper Pumpkin and you're already a subscriber, you can buy this and you need to do it quickly. I, I don't know if it'll sell out. I have no idea. I couldn't really find um, an advertisement for it on the Stampin' Up! customer page. I actually had to go dig around to find this. So maybe it won't sell out too fast. But I think Paper Pumpkin subscribers have received an email. Um, but here's the number if you need it. 152885. You can type that in the search over on the store and it should pop up. Okay. Wisconsin is this weekend too, Debbie. Well, that wasn't on my list. Let's see. You'll have to try it. Is it on here? It's, oh, I left them off. No, I have July 31st to August 4th. Oh, you, that's what you said. Hello. Yeah, I missed it. You're right. Did I really? Yep, totally missed it. Thank you, Debbie. If you are in Wisconsin can't believe I missed that the very last column all right July 31st August 4th that means today already tax-free today for you people in Wisconsin thanks Debbie all right one last thing and we're gonna start stamping you guys so I mentioned I'll be gone for two weeks no not two weeks I'll be gone for a week and that means next Facebook Friday is not gonna happen we're not gonna have a Facebook Friday next week so this week all this week from now until Monday, August 12th, 2019. If you put in a $35 minimum order using this host code, I'm gonna send you today's projects for free. I'm gonna actually start working on those tomorrow. I'm gonna to cut a bunch of them, get them ready. Um, now, I don't know how many orders I'll get, so I will probably have to cut more when I get back, but um, I will hopefully be able to get those out by I usually get them out the Wednesday after, so that would be the 14th, August 14th, okay? Also, because I'm gonna be gone, I'm gonna also throw in something else. A pack of Noble Rhinestone, Rhin, no, Noble Peacock Rhinestones. And you can tell that I've used mine already. Yours will come whole, complete, brand new. But I'm gonna throw this in with your make and takes this time, okay, as a thank you. Um, they are currently available. They've been on back order for a long time. Hopefully they will not go on back order by the time I get back. Um, but those of you who place an order between now and August 12th, 2019, that is over $35 using this host code, you will get the make and takes from today. It'll kind of look like this. It'll come packed and ready for you. And a brand new package of Noble Rhinestone Peacock. Peacock Rhinestone. I don't know why I can't say it. Noble Peacock Rhinestones. Okay, does that make sense? <laughs> I hope so. Okay, so like I mentioned over there, pinkbuckaroo.com, you can find today's projects that we're gonna make, all the supplies you need, and the measurements are down at the bottom down here. You'll need the measurements specifically for this one and this one. Um, oh no, we're not ready to stamp. I forgot to tell you. Well, I'll do it real quick, okay? Dino Days class, you guys registration has been kind of slow I thought you guys would go crazy over these cute dinosaur projects look at this one it's a volcano gift box it's super cute with fire <laughs> this class includes the dino days bundle or you can get it without the bundle if you already have it it also includes a pack of crushed curry seam binding, and a whole pack of the enamel dots, okay? This deadline for this class is coming up August 16th. Here is the link to sign up, okay? August 16th, you can get it with the bundle, with the stamps, without the stamps. You can get PDF only. Um, and then my team gets a discounted uh, kit also. It's one of the perks of buying the starter kit for me. And then just right before I came on, I listed this class 
right here my friend Rhonda Wade and I about twice a year get together and do a class together we usually do two different classes but what we decided this time was to both design a class around the two wild rose bundle have you guys seen this it's so beautiful so both of our classes use this my class is a mini album gift set okay so you're gonna have everything you need to make the the mini album and the box that it comes in here's the album it's very pretty I love it so much and we I designed this with the idea that maybe this is like a gift that you would give somebody um, I think it's just really fun and it's not terribly hard uh, it also has a video and a step-by-step -step, full color tutorial for you to make the mini album and the box and of course the card that goes with the gift okay um, now the class will include a quarter pack of the DSP a whole pack of designer elements and I don't know if you've seen this in the catalog this is the tags and more accessory kit so your class to go will include three of these things you'll have extras to use afterwards you'll have all the supplies you need to make the mini album the gift box the card and then there's Rhonda's class which I don't have any samples of but I can tell you it's five fancy folds we love fancy folds and if you get her class and my class both they will ship together you save five dollars and you're gonna get a pressed petals journal for free plus a tutorial from both of us on ideas on how to use it okay so that just posted right before today's post you're gonna have to scroll back on my blog here's the direct link so you can go read about it um, you will save five dollars if you get both if you don't have the wild rose bundle you can add it on at cost all right pretty good deal um, if you like the wild rose bundle okay phew that was a lot of announcements that's what happens when I don't do a Facebook Live for two weeks. And we're ready to stamp. Now I hope I haven't missed any questions. Hello everybody who is here. Um, I don't see anything. <laughs> Carla says she needs a coupon for several hundreds of dollars. Carla, you and me both. You and me both. That is so funny. Hi Lisa. Lisa, I sent lots of things to you this week. Hopefully they make it this time. I got lots of returned things from Lisa. I don't know, I had the wrong address, I'm so sorry. It took forever for them to get it all back to me too. All right, here are our projects this week. Check you out. Again, I designed with back to school in mind. However, you'll see that these can just be generally anytime um, projects as well, okay? All right, we're gonna start with a card. It's a pretty simple card. And I went with, um, oh, here's the host code for all the orders for the next week. Um, I went with pretty bold primary colors for these projects. Um, kind of going back to the in colors from last year. I love these colors. So that's kind of, I didn't use all of them, but that's kind of where my mind was when I um, started designing for these projects. All right, so we're gonna start with Granny Apple. Gotta make some room here. Oh, Lisa, they did, good, I'm glad to hear that. I'm so sorry. You know what's funny is I gripe about the mail, the United States Postal Service a lot. We go round and round a lot. And, um, but last week with my BOGO sale, they were delivering things super fast, like within a day. So <laughs> I don't know, I can't complain about them this week because they were awesome. Okay, so this is just a quarter sheet of cardstock, Granny Apple Green. Um, four and a fourth by five and a half. We're gonna cut it in a minute with the largest stitched rectangle. Um, and I'm going to just start stamping these books. The problem is, is that I don't wanna stick my head in the camera. So my books are probably gonna be kinda crooked, but that's okay, right? Books are kinda crooked when they're stacked. And I'm just stamping them. This looks like it needs to be cleaned. I'm stamping them all in granny apple green because I wanted to really um, have it kind of in the background, you know, not real obvious, especially if my books were crooked, then I wanted them to be kind of blending into the background. Now, this book is my favorite of the three. 
And so I'm going to use it more than the other. See, if you turn it one way and then turn it the other way, it looks like a different book. Oh, well, that book is floating. That's all right. We're going to put a circle around it or over it in a minute. So it'll just blend into the background. How many of you actually have this stamp set? Oh, Lisa, you're, she says she's on the fence about this set. Yeah, I'm gonna change your mind. And my friend, Ange McKay, did a super cute project yesterday over on her Facebook page. Her colors were more um, pastel soft colors and they were so cute. So after today, you'll have three ideas plus Ange's, That's ma that makes four. And then, Tomorrow, you'll have another one when I post the all-star tutorial blog hop. And then if you get the, the uh, PDF, you'll have another one. So you'll have six ideas, six different ways to use it. All right, you missed it in the catalog, uh, Kathy. Yeah, uh, it jumped out at me right away because I'm always a sucker for school stuff. All right, so I'm gonna use the largest stitched rectangle on here, I'm gonna put those books kind of over to the edge. I'm gonna cut it out. And I like to go back and forth with these rectangles. They're a little persnickety. Oh, that one cut out perfect. So sometimes they take a little extra pass through. All right, now this is a blueberry bushel card base. It's just a whole piece of cardstock that I have cut in half um, down at four and a fourth. And then I folded it in half or scored it at five and a half and then folded it. And we're going to put this on with dimensionals. And then let's get our, I pre-cut. Look at that gingham. How cute. I pre-cut a stitch circle. This is the largest stitch circle out of the Blueberry Bushel Designer Series paper, which you will find in the In Colors, the eight, nine, 2018 to 2020 In Colors. You'll find it in that group, which I have to say is my favorite In Colors of all time. I'm kind of panicking knowing that this is their last year. All right, so we're gonna stamp the library card in lovely lipstick, isn't that beautiful? And no dies, but that's okay. We're gonna fussy cut. Actually, I'm gonna get my bigger scissors here. This one's pretty easy because it's just straight lines. Um, I was gonna say something and now I've forgotten what I was gonna say. Something about blueberry bushel. Hmm. I don't know. I can hear my youngest in there. She is still in her pajamas. And I wanted to get onto her, but I thought, you know what? That's what summer's about for kids, right? They need to have just some lazy days. So she's in there eating ramen <laughs> and uh, watching some YouTube videos of other kids playing video games. I'm letting her be lazy. Once we get back from our trip, she will, I'm gonna round these corners a bit. She, they, we're gonna start getting back into our schedule. They've had crazy bedtimes. She's 10 and a half, almost 11, so it's not like she's little, little, but we've had, oh, you know, loosey-goosey bedtimes, loosey-goosey meals goosey goosey schedules and they're actually ready for school they've actually said to me they are ready for school so that means we've had enough loosey goosey it's time for our schedules this whisper white piece is from the stitched labels frame uh dies we call them dies now stitch label dies um and i cut it out in whisper white and i'm gonna stamp that check you out in blueberry bushel and then i'm just gonna cut it in half i, cut, I stamped it over on the right side and this card, so this could be like a, to a new teacher, right? To your child's teacher. But it could also be like, hey, good job on anything, really. Doesn't have to be back to school. To those, for those of you that don't have kids, don't worry. It doesn't have to be that way. Now these buttons, how cute are these buttons? These are the 
2018-2020 in color buttons. They jumped out at me right away when I saw them in the catalog because they are bright and fun and super cute. Whoops. But they don't stick by themselves. They have to have a glue dot, which that one is just not doing what I want it to do. I put a glue dot on each edge and just kind of folded it over. And then of course the best part of Stampin' Up! is that we have, um, you know, we have the ribbon, we have the ink, we have the cardstock, we have the accessories, all in the colors that match. So you don't have to really struggle trying to find things that match. This is the blueberry bushel, quarter inch or eighth of an inch? I think that's eighth. What does it say? Yeah, eighth of an inch grow grain ribbon. It carried over from last year. It's in our annual catalog again, which I am really glad about. I like a tiny ribbon, a small thin ribbon. It doesn't bulk your cards up. And we're gonna put that right here. And I felt like it just needed a little something, a little something something up at the top. So I grabbed some silver foil and the twinkle punch. We're not gonna use the moon. But we're going to use those cute little stars and okay everybody hold your breath i'm going to use the fine tip glue pen Let's see if i don't ruin my card and i'm just going to put three of them on here one two three all right i did it now you guys i love stars and we haven't had star dies in a long time and in the holiday catalog we've got stitched Oh look, there's another star. Let me put it down here. We've got stitched stars coming. Stitched star dies. It's very pretty. Very, very pretty. I um we received the holiday catalog while we were in Greece on the incentive trip, but I haven't really let myself really look through it until last night. And I was it's like I was seeing everything for the first time. Okay, you guys, there it is. What do you think? so pretty you know it looks dark i think some of my lights are out in my light box does it look dark to you guys maybe not maybe it's just my phone let me see you know how if it gets hot it it like gets dark well i guess not carly your youngest starts her senior year oh god my oldest starts her junior year so i'm starting to feel that anxiety of oh my gosh they're moving on they're gonna fly the coop fly the nest What's the saying? It's scary. All right, so there you go. Cute little card, simple card. It could be for a teacher or it could be for anything. It could be a congratulations for your kid who's going back to school or at college or whatever. Really cute. And I just really love that um, library card. Remember when books had library cards? Long time ago. <laughs> All right. Now the next project is a notepad holder look right here you open it up and it's a tiny little notepad these are straight from Wally World Walmart came in a pack like this you guys and I didn't keep the wrapper I don't know there was five of them it was over in the office supply area the office supply aisle not back to school stuff but in the office supplies and they were pretty it was pretty cheap so you get five of them and let me peel them apart they're kind of all stuck together. There we go. So we've got one, you can get five out of one package and just make a cute little notepad holder. And the sentiment here says, just a little note. That's really cute, right? You could keep this in your purse. You could give it to a teacher. You could give it to a coworker. Very cute. Keep it in your car. I know sometimes I need paper in my car and I don't have it. Okay, so let me find that basket right here. We're going to start with lovely lipstick and let's look at the PDF so I know what the measurements are. Remember all the measurements. Hi, Robin. All the measurements are right here at the bottom of that first page, okay? Now, where's my Simply Score? Let's bring it over. This piece of lovely lipstick is seven and three fourths by five and a fourth. And we're just gonna put two score lines in the middle, three and three fourths and four. The, the notepad is only a quarter inch thick, so we just need to make a quarter inch, um, you know, little spine there. And we're gonna take our bone folder. Oh, I'm gonna need to bring that Simply Scored back. And 
one right there. And then you can just get some tear and tape or Tombow or whatever your strong adhesive choice is. Not snail, guys. That will not hold it. Tear and tape um, or Tombow. Those would be my two choices. Or Fast Fuse if you still have it. You guys know I'm still hanging on to Fast Fuse. All right, we're going to put that in there like that. And then we're going to get, where's my denim ribbon? It's over here. We're going to get that denim ribbon. Have we used this before, you guys? It looks like denim. It's so cute. Yes, Lisa, the teachers do want post-it notes. You are right. They do all want post-it notes, you know, and it looks like that's a little bit too long. You guys see that? Hmm. My measurements might be off. I'm gonna cut that down. Um, the teachers want post-it notes. The high school um, kids need post-it notes. The middle school kids need post-it notes. Yes, so that would be a cute. Let's see, what do we need to cut off of here? Like a quarter inch. All right, I'm gonna look at this afterwards and correct the PDF to make sure that that's right for you. Um, so yeah, we could do this with post-it notes. These, I don't think these are post-it notes. No, but I think post-it notes come in this size, right? I think they do. Okay, now we're gonna put the ribbon on here first because that next piece of paper, um, we're gonna sandwich it over this ribbon to keep the ribbon where it needs to be. All right, so get your bow. My downline, Brittany, made me the cutest post-it little holder. You guys have probably seen me using it on the video. I need to look at that, and we need to make one because it's awesome. She used, she has a, a binding machine, I think, and she put a binding on it, but I bet we could come up with another way to, to make it if you don't have a binding machine. Okay, now, I wanted to create kind of a grid look on this paper on the top. So. I've got a piece of Whisper White that's, let's see, three and a half by five, and I'm gonna put it on my Simply Scored, and I'm gonna do a half of an inch score line all the way across, every half inch, okay? Half inch across, half inch down. I started with one inch, but then I thought that wasn't, I don't know, it wasn't right, so we needed a smaller grid. And when I took the photo for my blog post and for the PDF, I noticed you couldn't really see the grids in there. Can you guys see how cute that is? I can't see, is it, can you tell? Hmm. Oh yeah, yeah, I think you can see it. It's really cute. Okay, and I'm gonna put the side that I was scoring, I'm gonna put that down. I want the raised lines to pop up. All right, now I'm gonna put adhesive all the way across. I'm gonna put some right there kind of in the middle to sandwich that ribbon in there too to keep it in place. So you gotta make sure your ribbon is right. All right, so there we go, there's the base. Now let's do the stamping. We're gonna do those books again, but this time I'm gonna clean it, clean them. We're not gonna do them in Granny Apple. And let's move that out of the way. I don't want to get that inky. This is this ugly thing is called a chamois, <laughs> a stamp and jammy. And if it's ugly, that means you've used it a lot and it's awesome. So don't let the ugliness fool you. It's an awesome tool to have. And it's only, I think, what, $11? You just rinse it with water and um, you can wash it in your washing machine. And you, do, you know, uh, something's wrong with my. I meant to re-ink this. I don't think I re-inked it very well. Um, something is wrong with my, hmm. I don't know if you guys can see it, but I'm getting a very splotchy. I need to re-ink. Mango, mango Melody is what I'm trying to say. Ah, and I just stuck my finger in the blueberry bushel. Oh well, okay. Let's see. There's one book in blueberry bushel. And what other color did we do? Lovely lipstick. And then the owl, we're gonna keep that. The owl, who is the star of the stamp set, in my opinion, he reminds me of an owl we had years and years ago. 
You guys know, you guys remember who I'm talking about. We had the cutest owl. All right, let's stamp him in soft suede and we're gonna give him some glasses. Let's see, hopefully, there we go. Looked like I put too much ink, but he's all right. And then get the glasses and give him some lovely lipstick glasses. And because it's a photopolymer stamp, you can see exactly where you're stamping him. It's so cute. Now, I'm gonna fussy cut all of this. And if you hate to fussy cut, you guys, just stamp all of it on a rectangle piece of paper. And then you don't have to um, fussy cut, okay? I know this is quite a bit of fussy cutting here, so um, just know that you have options. You don't have to fussy cut. That's bothering me, sorry guys. I just stuck my finger right in that ink pad. And when I fussy cut, I use my smallest, sharpest pair of scissors, and I stay on the outside of the image. Um, like I used to tell my little first graders and kindergartners when I was teaching, we're gonna cut a cloud around him. And strangely enough, it causes your eye to only see the stamped image not any you know messed up cuts that you make or if you're you know kind of a shaky hand it won't show so just stay on the outside turn the paper don't turn your scissors turn the paper and just relax <laughs> I actually really enjoy fussy cutting. Now, down here for his legs, see what I've done? I've just kind of left, I mean, he's got these little skinny legs. Can you guys see that? Just kind of, you know, cut around. You don't have to cut right on it. Oh no, look at his face. He's dirty. <laughs> that, that finger got him. Okay, we're gonna leave it but I am gonna see if I can wipe this off of my finger real quick. Let's see. There, yeah, that actually came off pretty well. All right, well, poor owl. He's been playing in the finger paints at school or something. <laughs> and I didn't notice it until I was done cutting him, so that means he's staying. He's good, we're keeping him. All right, fussy cut around the books. I'm gonna have a fifth grader and a seventh grader and a 11th grader, a junior this year. It's our last year of Serwin Girls being in elementary school. I, I cannot, I cannot believe it. I feel like I have had littles forever and suddenly I have no littles anymore. It's sad, it's really sad. Um, I mean, it's exciting too, but mostly sad. <laughs> I like littles. I'm not gonna lie, I like littles more than I like teenagers. Teenagers are tough. I don't feel like I know, like I'm qualified <laughs> for teenagers. Oh, and I have, a, I have pretty good kids, but oh, the stuff our kids deal with these days, you guys, is just awful. <sighs> and we will have tennis the captain of the tennis team. We will have one trying out for volleyball, the volleyball team in middle school, and the younger one in fifth grade. I'm putting all these on with dimensionals, by the way. Um, let's get that guy straight. The one who um, is in fifth grade in elementary school, she will be playing on the volleyball team also, a local volleyball team. And we'll be raising rabbits again for 4-H and then my oldest will get her goat the day after we get back from the beach we get a, a goat she she is in the FFA program at school and she raises a goat every year from August to January and then we send him off on his way <laughs> the part we don't talk about um, and uh, that's when the craziness starts so I'm kind of like you know what kids be lazy be lazy for a couple months in the summer we are so busy during the school year. It's okay. Okay. Oh, I'm, I'm glad to hear you say that, Debbie, because I just feel completely inept for teenagers. It, you just feel like a failure all the time. 
is it me? You guys, because it's hard. And she's a good kid. My oldest is so good and my middle one, but man, they're hard. It's tough. You never know if you're doing the right thing. All right, I put a dimensional here because we're going to get the sentiment, which this one, what did we say we're using? Just a little note. I'm going to stamp it over here on this scrap paper. Oh, what is the deal, man? Blueberry bushel everywhere. I think I re-inked it too much. One doesn't have enough and one has too much. Oh, Carla, I hope so. You know, my mom always said, you don't know if you're doing the right thing until it's too late. <laughs> until they're, you know, adult and you don't know. But lots of prayers. Lots of prayers. All right, that was a one inch circle, you guys. Blueberry bushel on Whisper White, one inch circle. These are my favorite new embellishment, the mini library clips. And we did white on that one, so let's do silver this time. I will say, I just put them bunch of these on stamp club projects and they're not easy they are tight and it took a lot of um finger grip so if you don't have a lot of finger grip these may not be for you or you just get somebody else to do it right because i did 30 something of them yesterday and my fingers were aching um, i love the way they look they're just really tight so beware all right last but not least it needed a little something something again this time we're gonna do silver metallic pearls. All right, and voila, we are done with project number two. Oh, he's so sad. I'm gonna to have to restamp him later. There's a clean one. <laughs> this is for the kindergarten teacher, okay? I don't know, is Belinda watching? This is for my kindergarten teacher friends. Paint everywhere, or art teacher friends. My mom's an art teacher and she always had paint everywhere too. All right, so those notepads, you guys, get them at Walmart. They're there all year. They're not just during um, back to school. They are in the oh, office supply area. All right, I didn't look online. I usually give you guys a link, but I just didn't, I didn't look online. One more project. Thank you guys, you're so sweet. Vicki, did you see that? That love your, or take your pick tool? The little putty and you pick up the pearls. I didn't even mention it. You pick them up off the sticky sheet and it puts them right back down on the paper. Brilliant. Whoever came up with that is brilliant. Okay, so you can tell I was at Walmart this week because the second project holds something from Walmart. It's this cute little box and it says happy birthday. So it's not a back to school project, but it could be for your teacher's birthday. Um, Rice Krispie Treat, although it's not officially a Rice Krispie Treat. This is, you know, Walmart's brand. Crispy Rice Treats is what they're calling them with rainbow candy coated chocolate chips. Um, they're in, uh, we, I've used these things before. Our Walmart carries these over in the bread aisle. Um, they have like blueberry muffins and honey buns and all kinds of stuff. So I grabbed these cute little um, Rice Krispie Treats. I thought they would be great for these bright projects. All right. Okay, let's make the box. And I screwed this up earlier. I hope I have it right this time. The measurements on this. I screwed it up twice actually this morning. Um, this is Mango Melody again. And let's look, remember over on the PDF, here's all the measurements. You can print this, you can save it. Um, you can bookmark it for these measurements, okay? Um, thank you, Marianne. This is a piece of Mango Melody. It's five by eight and a half. So you'll be able to get two out of one full sheet, okay? You're gonna score the long side at See, I have 11 on there. That must mean one. Let me look at my notes again, you guys. See, I have one here. What did I do with it? I have a template. Oh, here it is. Nope, that's not it. Yeah, it's at one. That first one should not say 11. It should say one. One inch, three and three fourths, four and three fourths, seven and a half. Now I'm nervous. I hope my measurements are right. One on the short side, one and four. During the school year, when I can think clearly, <laughs> when I don't have craziness going on in my house, I actually pre-record these videos so that I know I have everything right. Well, in the summer, I'm not getting that done. So we are flying by the seat of our pants, hoping that it all comes out perfect. I'm gonna take the heart. Um, which is in the stamp set. You guys, if you haven't looked in the catalog at this set, you need to go look at it because the sample card 
is so cute. They have like a like rows of these hearts and it's so cute. Okay, so remember, you know, the catalog is an idea book. It's not just a catalog. It's an idea book. It gives you ideas on how to use your products, samples. Sometimes when I'm in a rut and I can't think of something new, I just start making what's in the catalog and it kind of gets those creative juices flowing. All right, so we stamped the heart all over in Mango Melody. And I'm gonna take my bone folder and Vicki says, you make it look so easy. Well, we'll see. <laughs> no, don't say that until we make sure the measurements are right. And one last one. All right, now we're gonna do something a little bit different here that I normally do. Usually I just cut on the lines. This time we're gonna cut a little V where the lines are. Do you guys see how I did that? I can hear Mac and Charlie, they wanna get out of their kennel. I put them up because it's craziness. Summer, Charlie barks a lot anyway, but in the summer when there's kids going in and out, in and out, in and out, he barks every single time the door opens. So I just put him away. Okay, so can you see kind of what I did on those score lines? Instead of cutting on the score line, I cut just a, a V, a very sliver V around that score line. That's gonna give us a little bit more wiggle room when we're putting these together. Uh-oh, there we go. Two more, and then we're all right, we are ready. All right, now I am gonna also cut these edges at an angle, okay, these ends. Now I'm gonna set it down so you can see it. I know when I am watching a video, I like to pause it to, to look at it, to see what it looks like. Okay, there we go. So you guys see that? See how we've cut basically every tab at an angle. Okay, so now you're gonna want to use either tear and tape, um, Tombow liquid glue, or if you have any fast fuse left, okay? Put on those four tabs, put adhesive on the front side of those tabs, and fold out, or fold in those tabs, okay? Now, these guys, we're gonna do the same thing, and fold in. And this is gonna be kind of like a clamshell box where the inside goes into the lid. See that, see how that goes, how that works? Let's see, we got it. Oh, that one's filled with a little more air. It might be a little tight fit. Oh, there we go, we've got it. Okay, so there's your little box. <laughs> that one was a little puffier than the previous one. Okay, let's stamp the pieces and put it all together. It's a pretty easy box. I think if you were gonna make these, like maybe for a class, um, you would, um, it wouldn't be too hard to make, you know, mass produce. Okay, where's the chamois? It's hiding from me. Oh, it's over here. Okay, let's clean him because he's, look at him, you'll see, look at him, <laughs> he's half and half. You'll see why in a minute. All right, we're gonna stamp him in Granny Apple Green over kind of on the left side of the heart. Then we're gonna clean him and grab the lovely lipstick. This is why he's stained halfway because we're just wanting to stamp that, that bow tie on a scrap piece, uh-oh, now he wants out. Let me grab my daughter, Addie. Addie. Oh, well, he's just gonna have to wait because nobody's around. All right, now let's put them together. We gotta put happy birthday there, hold on. Hold up. I don't think I have any blocks left. So I'm gonna use the back of this one. What color did I do it in? Lovely lipstick, oh, I love this color. Lovely lipstick. All right, more fussy cutting. 
Man, I'm really, really making you guys fussy cut today. I'm sorry. It's got to have a bow tie that pops out. He's really cute, isn't he? Yeah, party favors would be great. I agree. Um, my, when I was teaching, the parents always did something big for my birthday. Um, they would have the kids, you know, some kind of little celebration or something. So this would be kind of fun to make for all the kids in the class on the teacher's birthday. Or just regular party favors. Okay, go back in. Let's see if I can do this without making a mess. There we go. Now, I'm gonna layer all of this on here. I've cut a, and I don't think I put this on the sheet. It's one by four piece of lovely lipstick designer series paper. And I cut both ends at an angle. And I'm gonna put that right there. This box may need a bow all the way around. And where are the dimensionals? One on the back of the heart. Oh wait, but wait, there's more. This is a layer, a uh, scalloped edge, that's what I'm trying to say, from the Be Mine Stitched Hearts dies. And I'm gonna cut him at an angle too. A little bit longer on that side. Um, cut in Granny Apple. Put our little heart there and a little heart there. Oh, <laughs> I got it upside down. Can you guys see the script? It's upside down. Eh, who cares? That's fine. And one more <laughs> denim ribbon bow. This denim ribbon, I don't know if I said this earlier, is lightweight. It's very light, it's not heavy like you would think denim would be. And so it's really good for paper crafting. All right, glue dots, and we are done. I feels like I'm miss, missing something. No, I don't think so. There he is, he's so cute, look at him. So cute. What do you guys think? So cute, right? This stamp set is a must have. I totally think it is. And you know what? It's very, as far as our stamps go, it's very cheap, $16. I would venture to say that that is probably the cheapest stamp set in the catalog. Let's pull it up and look. What page is it on? Check you out, page 58. Did I already have it open? No. 58. So you guys can see it. If you haven't seen it in the catalog, it's on this page with another stamp set that I love. Facebook Friday is coming on that one for sure. Um, but here it is right here, $16. It's a lot of stamps for $16, 16 stamps, wow. Wow, that's a really good price. All right, and look, here's that sample. Isn't that so cute? It looks like they stamped the card in crumb cake. Oh, it's so cute. Now look, here's this guy, if you don't wanna fussy cut him. See how they did that on the rectangle? And they only popped up one of the books. They cut fussy cut one book and popped it up. A really good um, alternate way to do that if you don't wanna fussy cut all three of those. Okay, so let's look, let's review. Um, we did a treat holder, we did a um, note, a hello, what am I saying, note holder, um, and we did a card. And then we also have, coming tomorrow, we have tomorrow on the blog, another cute, look at him, he's holding the heart this time, and I used the dies, the alphabet dies. And then here's the project for the all-star tutorial bundle for August. Remember, I'm going to be gone next week, so all orders for the whole next, what is that, 10 days from today until the 12th using this host code over $35 will earn you all three make and takes for free in the mail and a package of the, let's see if I can say them, I can't say them, the peacock rhinestones, that's it, the peacock rhinestones, you guys. Um, so don't forget to get your order in and... Don't forget to go get your PDF so you can see all those things that I was rambling on about in the beginning. Dinosaur Days class, Wild Rose classes, two classes, um, the tutorial bundle, the tax-free weekends, and the starter kit special. Each one of those has a link you can click on or copy and paste um, and find out the details. 
All right, you guys, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you have a wonderful week. Thank you, Debbie. We will be on a beach somewhere. Um, <laughs> we're taking another cruise. I'm embarrassed to say that we are getting on another cruise ship, um, but we're excited to spend some time with the kids and, um, you know, finish summer up with a, a big hurrah. I will have a good time and I will see you guys live again on the 16th with new projects. Thanks everybody, have a great weekend and I will see ya, bye.